What's up guys, in this video I am going to be unboxing the Noctua NH D15S heatsink and cooler for uh, PC CPU. Let's take a look in this uh, first box here. Now right here on the top of the box it kind of tells you uh, the mounting system and how to do it on AMD or Intel chips. It's got a little documentation there and all the hardware and the thermal compound right there. Now here is the whole uh, giant heat sink and fan. And then of course the contact point to the uh, chip is right down here as well as a cable for the fan that I gently pulled out. And you wanna be gentle with this because each of these little pieces of uh, metal right here are very thin and can bend very easily. So I'm not gonna mess around too much more with it. But uh, just to kind of give you guys an idea of how it measures, it stands about six inches tall and is about six inches wide. So uh, it is a huge heat sink and cooler uh, for your processor. So I'm more than confident it's gonna be very effective at doing that. So uh, let's go ahead and get to installing this monster. At first glance, my main concern with this cooler was its size. Fortunately, I got the biggest case I could find for this build. It's recommended to mount the CPU and cooler before you mount the motherboard to the case. It's also really important to read and understand how your cooler is meant to attach to your motherboard and CPU. In this case, after the CPU was seated, my cooler and heatsink required a backplate to be installed under the motherboard just below the CPU. Before you mount the motherboard in the case, especially because of this cooler's asymmetrical design, make sure the cooler is positioned to offer enough clearance for other components and that the mounting brackets are positioned to make that possible. Because of the large size of this cooler, I decided to finish mounting the cooler after the motherboard was mounted into the case. In my case, I had to mount two sticks of RAM before I mounted the cooler because it would have been very difficult to maneuver the RAM in after the fact. After that, I applied the included thermal compound. Now it's time to lower the cooler onto the CPU. To access the screws to mount the cooler, I had to detach the included fan then screw in the cooler, then reattach the fan and connect it to the motherboard. All that remained was the RAM and storage and this computer was ready to be fired up and tested. Be sure to check out my other unboxing videos of other PC parts and as always, let YouTube know you like my video by clicking the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell for notifications. If you have any questions or comments, as always, you know what to do. Thanks for watching guys.